It is with great pleasure and excitement that Mr. Saldana, Mrs. Lord, and I welcome to you our fourth annual Triumph Music Honor Induction Ceremony. The students we honor tonight are known for their hard work and excellence in the areas of scholarship, character, cooperation, leadership, and service. On behalf of the Burncote Music Faculty, we are so happy that you are still able to attend this event, especially considering the current situation. <laughs> your attendance at this event shows your commitment to your education, your willingness to work hard in the face of adversity, and your ability to adapt to new situations. These are all skills that have served you well during your time at Burncote and will continue to be valuable as you go on to the next stages of your education and eventually your careers. Tonight we'd especially like to thank our honored guests and speakers for taking part in this ceremony with us. <laughs> when we started this fall, I think Mrs. Lord and I maybe cried every single Monday for August, September, October, a little bit into November. This was a tough year especially as musicians. Our orchestras, our choirs, our bands were silent since March of last year, and it's taking a long time to recover. But today, we had our induction ceremony for the junior uh, division with the middle school in the cafeteria, and we could hear the Burncoat High School Orchestra rehearsing pomp and circumstance for graduation. We've repaired, <laughs> we've come back, and in spite of all of the things that have happened that have made this year challenging, our students have ro risen above and made it so that we can still be a community and perform together. Even this ceremony, we have remote students and remote guests that are attending, and we are just finding ways to make it possible. And that's a credit to our students, their willingness to be mic on and camera on and ready and sending in rehearsals and sending in audio and participating when it could have been on the couch, meeting on but muted and camera off. <laughs> we, these are not the students that did that this year. These are the students that showed up and have been with us the whole way and we are so grateful. We're going to start this evening with the national anthem. It'll be a live performance so we're going to ask that our officers step down briefly and Tori Rich comes up to sing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Thank you, Tori. Um, so what Ms. Cook was saying, this year we saw a lot taken away from us, but I'm actually emotional right now. <laughs> so what our music department has done, at least in the high school, um, we, I mean the middle school did a fantastic job as well, but for the high school music department, we had a banner year, even in a shortened time, and that's like credit to these students who are here tonight. Um, 13 of our high school students were accepted into the Central District Senior High Festival, which is a record for Worcester, <laughs> at, for like one school all at once. Um, one of our high school students was accepted into Allstate Festival, and six were recommended for the Allstate Festival, which is the top 10% of all students that make it into districts you get recommended to audition for Allstate and then from there uh, the next 10 percent they keep whittling it down so uh, to make it into Allstate is a huge huge honor um, 
Two of our students were accepted into the Western International Band Clinic, which is a, uh, <laughs> an international festival that uh, was really, really wonderful. I got to make connections across the whole country, and they made some wonderful videos that were edited by the team at Disney. Um, so it was a really, really cool thing, and I can share those links with you if you want to see that. Um, 11 students were accepted into the Central District Junior Festival. This was an interesting year for Central Mass. It was our first year that we were going to let ninth graders audition in the Junior Festival. <laughs> and uh, they made that switch. But all the other uh, districts in the state do that. So we were the last ones to make that switch. And we did it during uh, quarantine. And nine of our students, oh no, sorry, 11 of Burncoat's students made it into that festival this year, which is incredible. Um, we have five students who participated in the Micah Solo Festival. They recorded and took their own time to work on a, a new solo. And they're being adjudicated at the moment. Um, We'll get those results probably next week. We have many students who participated in the Worcester Youth Symphony Orchestra. And uh, they performed solos and recitals and have performed with combined ensembles of nearly 300 students throughout this year. They've accomplished so much and are still here tonight with dedication to the arts and their school. And we couldn't be more proud of you. Um, so at this time, I would like to introduce the current student officers of our chapter who've proven to be really great leaders in this year of all years. Um, so please raise your hand in acknowledgement. Kim Nguyen is the president. Amanda Wambui is the Vice President. Elijah Villanueva is the Secretary. Alexandra Economo is, and Maggie McCarthy are the Treasurers. Might be online. Um, Nick York and Micah Haynes were the Historians. Isabella Montavo. Mia Haynes and Lauren Poppenchak were the librarians. Sienna Leone, Ariel Marrero, and Isabella Montavo are the social committee. <laughs> and Trevor Jones, Micah Haynes, Scott Zlomis, and Thomas Troy were the equipment managers. Helping us get things set up. Alexandra Economo, Abigail Osten, and Mia Haynes are the band representatives. Ariel Marrero, Maggie McCarthy, and Isabel Montavo are the chorus representatives. And Liam Gates, Elijah Villanueva, and Samantha Zayorski are the string representatives. They all take on little bits of uh, leadership throughout the year, and it's wonderful to watch them grow. So we will now start with the awards portion of our ceremony. And I'd like to welcome Kim, our president, to the podium. Fellow students, family, and friends, we welcome you to this important occasion. Today, we will formally induct a number of students who have met the necessary Triumph criteria and have accepted invitations to become members of the Triumph Music Honor Society. We will also recognize the continuing members of our chapter of Triumph as well, as give out as awards in acknowledgement of great accomplishments our students have made throughout the year. We would like to present an outstanding leadership award, which was voted on by our members for displaying leadership qualities such as integrity, focus, organization, charisma, character, and helpfulness. This year's recipients are always seen stepping up to help out, whether they were asked to or not, and are constantly involved with preparations for concerts and events. Their seemingly unending energy is contagious and helps keep everyone motivated. We would like to present this year's Outstanding Leadership Award to Isabella Montalvo. Congratulations. In both our middle school and high school music programs, we have students who excel in music, are highly qualified performers with knowledge of music theory, and, ex and achieve success in the performance field by earning many honors and performing in schools or community functions. 
The Master Musician Award goes to Liam Gates. Congratulations. We would like to we would like to recognize those students who have gone above and beyond in their service to our Triumph chapter and music program at Burnco. With the outstanding service award goes to Sienna Leone. Congratulations. Oh, you're right. <laughs> This year, we found ourselves in unprecedented circumstances. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the majority of our school year was spent online from home. Remote learning has been challenging for many of us, particularly us music students who, like Ms. Cook said, are so accustomed to working and playing together. However, some students have taken this challenge in stride and participated frequently. Their enthusiasm and initiative encouraged their fellow students to make the best of their situation. To honor one of the students who exemplified these traits especially, the reward for remote leadership goes to Abigail Olson. Congratulations. <laughs> this year, we have received an award for a student who encompasses all qualities of each award we've given here tonight. Leadership qualities such as integrity, focus, organization, charisma, character, helpfulness, a passion and skill for music, and an outstanding service to their ensembles and directors. Overall working hard to making Burncoat Music a better place. The overall, the overall Achievement Award goes to Alexandra Economo. Congratulations. <laughs> So tonight, the Triumph Advisors would like to present an Honor, uh, Honor Ensemble Achievement Award to those of our students who have participated in auditioned ensembles and who volunteered their time to coaching at Unites this year. We are so proud of all of our students who push themselves to audition for ensembles, festivals, and competitions or volunteer their leadership skills in settings outside our classrooms. We'd like to recognize, and this is a long list, <laughs> Nevea Ajmandua for Jet Junior Central Districts. Arabina Anane for Senior Central Districts. Leah Berg. Hold on, are they coming to get them? Yes, please go see Mrs. Lord to receive your award. <laughs> <laughs> Leah Berg for Micah Solo Festival. Roxy Devlin for Junior Central Districts. Mary DeWire, Junior Central Districts. Alexandra Economou, Senior Central Districts and Wor uh, Worcester Youth Orchestra. Liam Gates, Senior Central Districts, All State Music Festival, and WISO. Sorry. <laughs> Suida Gimare, Junior Central Districts. Mauricio Gomez Vela Neto, C uh, Central Districts. Mia Haynes, WIBC Micah Solo Festival. Micah Haynes, Senior Central Districts, and Micah Solo Festival. Melina Ayana Chione. Ayana Chione? Yanni Chione. Yanni Chione. <laughs> Senior Central Districts, Abigail Jones, Junior Central Districts, Trevor Jones, Senior Central Districts, Hilda Kamanu, Senior Central Districts, Jack King, Junior Central Districts, Tavon Mburu, Junior Central Districts, Isabella Montalvo, Burncoat Unites, Victoria Rich, Junior Central Districts, Timios Richards, Senior Central Districts and WIO, Sarah Ramale, Central Districts, Micah Solo Festival, William Ryan, Senior Central Districts, and WIO. Garrison Trink, Junior Central Districts. Amanda Wumbai, Senior Central Districts. Riley West, Micah Solo Festival, and Burncoat Unites. Elijah Villanueva, Senior Central Districts, WISO, and Burncoat Unites. Nick York, Senior Central Districts. And Scott Salomis, Senior Central Districts, and WIBC. <laughs> 
Triumph encourages chapters to grant honorary membership to dedicated adults who are active in furthering the cause of music and e music education and who have contributed to local, national, or international music culture. Throughout Triumph's more than 50 year history, a number of impressive musicians, music supporters, and music enthusiasts have become honorary members. This year's inductee is no different. The locals in the audience might be aware of the lively music scene in the city of Worcester. Whether it be jazz concerts at Mechanics Hall or ballets at the Hanover Theatre, there is no shortage of showcases of art and talent in our backyard. Much of this is thanks to this year's honorary member, Adrian Finley, the executive director of Music Worcester. Like our chapter, Finley believes that music in our schools and communities is incredibly important and works diligently to connect Worcester students with musical opportunities every year. Students have received free tickets to shows Music Worcester hosts, gotten to perform with visiting composers, and even usher at performances. While not everyone here may go on to pursue music professionally, Adrian Finley has given us opportunities that will foster a lifetime love of music. As a thank you, Triumph Chapter 7860 is proud to induct Adrian Finley as our newest honorary member. Congratulations. <laughs> Finley is here with us tonight via Zoom, um, and I believe we might be hearing a few words from him in just a moment. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. Thanks to everyone at the Bronco campus. This is such an honor. And if there's anything it makes me wish, it indeed makes me wish that I just was able to spend a bit more time with you all in recent years. And I think I will make that a indeed a priority going forward. At Music Worcester, it's, it's our mission to bring artists sometimes headliners, sometimes aspiring folks at the start of their careers to these amazing Worcester venues. And we just hope that they sometimes inspire, often entertain, and at the very least, you know, provide this amazing addition to the cultural landscape here in Worcester. So I thank you all for attending our events. And uh, if there's anything else I would like to say, it's just please keep in touch. We may not necessarily know you that well, but if you're ever downtown, please stop by. If you have ideas of acts, ensembles, musicians that we might seriously want to consider, please let us know. And I do hope, absolutely hope that the times when we've been able to send musicians, be it members of Apollo's Fire, be it Avi Avatal, that amazing mandolin player, to your rehearsals in recent years, I, I hope that they've, they've added to your enjoyment and your love of music. And, and I really hope that maybe they even made you listen that much more to your conductors over the years. So thank you. Thanks again, Alexandra, and, and hope to see you all more, more frequently, uh, whether it's there uh, in your own auditorium or downtown at Mechanics Hall. Thank you. We will now describe the meaning of the name Tri-M for the candidates for student membership. Each M in our name, Tri-M, represents how our members should act. The original name was Modern Music Masters. One of our librarians, Isabella, will speak of the first M, which represents modern. The modern age is always changing. If we look back to other ages and time, they were perceived as modern in their own way. And if we study the past, we can plan for the future. This organization is run by youth and will forever be modern as the youth of today and tomorrow become part of this chapter. The second M stands for music and our treasurer, Alexandra, will explain this symbol. Music is an art the art of sound that can express ideas and emotions through the forms of melody, harmony, and rhythm. Music was present before language was written, and from that time on, it has become a method of communication. Music is the universal language. 
The third M stands for masters, which will be explained by our vice president, Amanda. The third M stands for masters. The custom is to give those the title of master if they have achieved something great. You have met those criteria as a Triumph candidate for student membership. With the title master, you are now responsible to be an example for all those who see you. N many people will now look at you, knowing that you are a member of this society. We will now recite the student membership pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Triumph Music Honor Society. Please stand and raise your right hand and repeat after us. We, the members of the Burncoat Music Department, we, the members of the Burncoat Music Department, in order to foster a greater continued interest, in order to foster a greater and a desire for excellence in music performance. And a desire for excellence in music performance. To encourage appreciation. To encourage appreciation. And awareness in listening to music. And awareness in listening to music. To promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music. To promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music. Both within our school and within our community. Both within our school to advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge. To advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge. And to enhance the reputation of our school. And to enhance the reputation of our school. As a center for musical enrichment. As a center for musical enrichment. Accept the honor now granted to us. Accept the honor now granted to us. You may now be seated. I will now ask our fellow members, Alexandra, Abby, and Elijah, to present the candidates for student membership. It is our pleasure to present each of you with your membership certificate. These music students have been carefully selected on the basis of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Scholarship represents scholastic achievement and open-mindedness toward knowledge and truth. Character emphasizes a devotion to high ideals and recognizes no barriers between people of diverse backgrounds. Leadership guides us to greater undertakings and service encourages assistance and kindness to others. The following candidates for student membership have qualified to become new members or continue as members of the Triam Music Honor Society. We are presenting each, a, each member with an official membership pin and a certificate. Congratulations. Abigail Jones, Abigail Olson, Adam Smith, Alexandra Economou, Amanda Wambui, Brian Mackey, Deja Spate, Elijah Villanueva, Garrison Trink, Henry Bolduck, Hilda Kamanu, Isabella Montalvo, Kaylee Price, Kim Nguyen. Lauren Pompenchok, Leah Berg, Liam Gates, Mame Darquois, Mahima Rai, Marcella Vogel, Margaret McCarthy, Mauricio Vela, Mia Haynes, Micah Haynes, Michaela Bonsu, Nevea Dua, Nick York, Ofi Asoy Poku, and Rana Sohili. Riley West, Roxy Devlin, Ryan Souza, Samantha Ziorkski, Sarah Romley, Scott Zalomis, Sienna Leon, Se Suida Gimare, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, uh, Tavon Mburu, Bimios Richards, Tiffany Vong, Tre Trevor Jones, and William Bryan.
I now officially congratulate and welcome you as members of Chapter 7860 of the Triumph Music Honor Society. May you remember this occasion and strive to live up to the aims and ideals of this organization. You have supported the ideals and aspirations of Triumph through your continued community service and participation in solo and ensemble performances here at Burnco and in your community. May you wear our Triumph pin with pride and dignity as you continue to, to demonstrate the value of music in your life. Welcome to the Triumph family. At this time, we will begin the installation of officers for next year. All officers and section leaders are expected to uphold and exemplify the values of participation, academic achievement, leadership, and service. We will begin with our chapter president, Kim Nguyen. Isabella. Isabella Montalvo, I hereby install you as president of our chapter. As president, you will lead the members and preside at all meetings. In addition to conducting ensembles, running rehearsals, sectionals, and communicating with other members and creating agendas for meetings, and representing the chapter on and off campus. I accept the responsibilities of president. Thank you. Sienna. Sienna Leone, I hereby install you as Vice President of our chapter. It will be your responsibility to preside at all meetings of the chapter in the absence of the President and assist the President in chapter leadership. In addition to supporting the President's needs, publicizing meetings, and other activities, the Vice President will assist all officers and their needs. I accept the responsibilities as Vice President. Leah Berg. I hereby install you as secretary of our chapter. As secretary, you will be responsible for all correspondence of the chapter, serve as social chairperson, and keep an accurate record of attendance, minutes, and all transactions and meetings of the chapter. I accept the office of secretary. Tavon and Lauren, who we have with us via Zoom tonight. Lauren Poppinchuk and Tavon Buru, I hereby install you as the treasurers and fundraising committee of our chapter. Your duties will be to keep an accurate record of all money received and dispersed. You will be in charge of the concessions and merchandise sales at music department related events. You will organize, count, and prepare to deposit funds received through fundraising events and ticket sales. You will report at each meeting the receipts, disbursements, and cash balance on hand. I accept the responsibilities of the treasurer office. Riley West, Anna Brazel, and Sweeta Gimmer. <laughs> I hereby install you as the historians of our chapter. Your duties will focus on keeping archival records of our chapter and music department. This includes keeping photographic records of all Triumph events. I accept the position of historian. Uh, uh, Mia Haynes, Maria, Mauricio Gomez Velanero, and Sarah Romelli. Romley, sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. 
I hereby install you as librarians of our chapter. As a librarian, your duties will include organizing, maintaining the overall library of our music scores. You will also be responsible for passing our new music to your ensembles, communicating with section leaders, and seeing that all students have access to their music at all times. I accept the office of librarian. Trevor Jones, Abigail Jones, and Micah Haynes. I hereby install you as equipment manager and equipment team of our chapter. Your duty is to assist directors and consultants with all equipment needs and to delegate and communicate what needs to be done. I accept the position of head equipment manager. I accept the position of equipment manager. I accept the office of equipment manager. Sarah Romley and Sweeta Gimariah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hereby install you as a social committee of our chapter. Your duties as social committee will be to coordinate annual fundraising efforts by your chapter and its members, including planning, documenting, and orchestrating fundraising events, as well as setting up the stage, creating posters for any music events, and making sure our social media account is active and up to date. I accept the office of social committee. What you said. <laughs> <laughs> I will now install the positions of chorus, band, and string representatives. Your duty is to work together to do a presentation at the Triumph monthly meetings on your chorus events and news. It is also your duty advocate for your ensemble with good leadership and be able to speak positively on their behalf. Trevor Jones, Mia Haynes, um, you guys can come up here. Tavon Baru, Mauricio Gomez, Samantha Zayorski, William Ryan. Actually, maybe not all come up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> Trevor first and Tori. Um, I'll just say it. You guys can stay in your seats. <laughs> Mia Haynes, Tavon Baru, and Mauricio Gomez. You guys are the band representatives of this year. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Samantha Zayorski and William Ryan, I hereby install you as string representatives of our chapter. Tori Rich, our first ever, um, I hereby install you as musical theater representative of our chapter. Um, along with all of these awards, we want to give out special awards to people who this music program would not be without. So first, we're going to have um, my fellow students, Alex and Abby, give our first award out. Um, we'd like to take the time to first thank our wonderful band director, Meredith Lord. Um, she has been leading us to victory throughout this ridiculous year. Um, while, you know, as seniors it's been really hard for us, she has made us feel like um, anything is possible even with the boundaries of remote, with the boundaries of the pandemic, and we really couldn't be having this ceremony today without her, so we would like to present you with a bouquet of flowers. Um, Abby, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, Mrs. Lord has been my flute teacher for the past four years, and I would just like to say a thank you, and don't make me cry, I swear. And um, I'm just really thankful to have Mrs. Lord as a teacher and a mentor, and thank you for everything that you've done for me. I've had Mrs. Lord since middle school, and 
seeing how much she's grown and come into her own as a director has been really exciting. Um, I know that you will lead the music department to victory for years to come. <laughs> yeah. So these lovely flowers are for Miss Cook, or Andrea Cook, but that feels weird. Um, I have known her since eighth grade when both of them actually got here, and I was a little bit hesitant. I was like, I'm like, this is something new. Ah. And you know, it's actually been really great. I'm a junior in high school now, and I go to Miss Cook for not only advice on how to help the orchestra, but how to improve like my singing and all that stuff. And she's got me a bunch of. Uh, I can't think of the word right now, a bunch of opportunities that I would have never had. And online, as we've talked about this entire time, it's been terrible. But these two, especially Miss Cook for the middle school, you've done so much and we are so thankful that you are part of our community and part of this family that we have. So these, these are for you. Um, this next award is for Mr. Danny Ramoni. Um, I've, he's known me since I was probably six years old. The first time I ever picked up a viola, like he's seen me grown. I'm now a senior and I've, he threw me into the high school orchestra as a seventh grader playing high school repertoire. And even as scary as it was, like he made me feel like I was ready for it. Like I wouldn't be where I am today without him as a violist. Um, yeah, he's very inspirational. He respects what he does, and I think he's probably one of the best teachers here. Sadly, you guys may see he is not wearing his Pirates of the Caribbean costume, which we all absolutely love, but hopefully he'll wear it another time. Mr. Ramoni, will you? Please confirm. <laughs> hey, Mr. Amoni. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not getting in front of crowds. Um, so I started playing cello my freshman year of high school. That's when I first picked up an instrument. And Mr. Ramoni has been there and he's helped me grow into the cellist, the musician that I am today. I wouldn't be able to say that about anybody. And he pushes you to the point not to break you. He pushes you to excellence. He pushes you to strive for more. And I think he made the burn culturing department the best that it can be, hands down, Top notch, so thank you, Mr. Ramoni. So, before our closing remarks, um, I just wanted to take a time to honor this year's graduating seniors, and they already made me cry a little bit, so this is like, thank you guys for starting the, the waterworks. <laughs> um, but this group of seniors, uh oh. <laughs> is uh, very special to me. Um, they were freshmen my first year here at Burncoat, and they've been my biggest cheerleaders through my ups and downs and working through this gigantic program. It's, it's, it's a lot here. We do so much, and there's so many things. There's so many details, and uh, they've been cheering me on through this whole time, so thank you for being you. You guys are loud. <laughs> you are happy. And you make me laugh all the time. Um, you're so kind. You're so kind to everyone that comes in to the department. And you welcome everybody with open arms. And I'm always impressed by your skills, musical and otherwise. And your plans for the future. I'm, I'm so excited for you. Know that after you graduate and leave us behind, you are always welcome back. And I'll always be here for you. We've shared so many memories in this music program from day-to-day -day rehearsal traditions and nuances to big concerts, fame, field trips, trills and thrills, and COVID changed a lot of what we had planned for you and your senior year in this department. 
Though those, change, uh, though those plans changed, your resilience and willingness to push through and try new things helped to keep everything moving forward. I couldn't have done anything this year without you guys. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> And like your positivity, all of that was like huge for me and it kept me moving forward. So you've proved that you have, you have, you, you've proved your creativity and you've proved your ability to lead. You've been through the worst educational circumstances known to this generation and um, you guys came out on the other end thriving. I couldn't be more proud of each and every single one of you and I know you're going to go out there and crush college, so. Congratulations. <laughs> I got you. All right, they're all just crying. They're all crying. <laughs> So Mrs. Lord and I have worked in many different schools. Both of our careers started as elementary school teachers and floating from school to school. Then we were both found each other at Sullivan Middle School, which we just loved working there and we loved working together. And then we found Burncoat and it was like the puzzle finally fit. And we get to work in the six through tw uh, seven through 12 program with six years and we feel so great to be able to connect through that middle school through high school. And it's just been so wonderful to come here and find this program that is such a high level. And what Mrs. Lord hit right on the head was that the kindness of our students and their willingness to accept all students. I, I just can't imagine that we're working in an inner city. I just laugh. This isn't an inner city school. This is, this is the best place you could ever work for our diversity, for our kindness, for our excellence. And you all are at the top tier of everything that good represents. And it's just been such a wonderful time to be here. And we, as teachers, can't be more thankful to get to work with a better group of kids. So many teachers are scared to work in public schools and to work in, in an inner city, and we say, come join the fun, because it's the best job you could ever have. And we're so happy, and we wish all of you such a great continuation in the program and for our seniors, great times at college, whether you're pursuing music or not. We are so proud of each and every one of you, and it's been my delight to work with every single one of you. On behalf of the Triumph Music Honor Society, we want to thank all of our officers who made this induction ceremony such a success. We'd be remiss if we didn't acknowledge our appreciation for our administration. And finally, to you, the parents. <laughs> these kids don't come out nice without great parenting. So thank you, parents, for raising these awesome kids that we get the pleasure to play with every day and make music with. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. No, you're not. <laughs>